Welcome to August. I have shopped my stash. My little basket that I thought was big enough to house all of the Shop My Stash products is overflowing and some of the products are actually on my desk. Why, you ask? Because I always have to be so extra and pull so many things. Hey, howdy. Hey, y'all. Leanna here. I have so many products and I am such a creature of habit that I pull things that I'm familiar with or that I like, which I like all of my products, but I have a lot of products that I have not used. So this time I put every single product in my inventory in a wheel, a spin the wheel by category, and I spun the wheel and let the wheel pick all of my products. So let's go over what I've got here on my desk. I'm going to try to go in order of how I would apply the products. And the first two products are face primer. The wheel chose Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas, which was given to me by my daughter because she didn't particularly care for it. And the other is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. I've used the Tatcha. I know that because it has a little blue dot on it. I mark my products when I use them so that I know that I have tried them. There is not a dot on the By Terry. So I don't believe that I have used that yet. And so I'm excited to give the By Terry a try and see how that goes. Next we have foundations. I'm going to start off with this She Glam Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation and it is in the shade Shell. I've had this for a while. I've never used it. I always go a little crazy with the foundations too. Uh, this is new to me, this Revlon Illuminance, Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. It's got 5% uh, squalene and hyaluronic acid in it. And it is in the shade 209 Buff Beige, I believe. I don't see the buff beige on here, but I believe that's what 209 is. And then Andy from Andy Does Stuff sent me this e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, and it is in the shade Fawn, which has some pink, what does it say? Light medium with peachy undertones, and I'm not a peachy undertone person, but we're going to try it and see what happens because Andy thought that that might work for me. If you've been here a while, you know that powder foundation is my love. So I have two powdered foundations. The Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation. This is in the shade Natural Suede. <laughs> I can't talk today. And I have used this and I do like it. See? blue dot. You see the blue dot? And then the wheel chose this It Celebration Foundation, which is an illuminating, illumination foundation, which rhymes. And even though it doesn't look so in the pan, when you put this on, it is very glowy. Very glowy. Let me say it for y'all in the back. It is very, very glowy. It has a dot on it. I've used it before. So we'll see how that goes. For setting powder, I have the Becca. I love Becca setting powders. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder in Golden Hour, which is kind of bronzy. And it seems to me like this is a little glowy too. Apparently I'm supposed to glow in August. I have not used that in a while, so I'm looking forward to using that. It also chose the Airbrush Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Powder, and this is Charlotte Tilbury, and I have used this quite a bit. I need to put a blue dot on it. It doesn't have one, and I really do like this powder. It also chose the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher. This is Celestial Light. <laughs> like I said, apparently I'm supposed to glow. This is new to me. I forget which subscription box that I got this in, but I have not used it yet. It still has the tape on it. 
So I'll let y'all know how that goes. That's a lot of different setting powder. The wheel had a mind of its own. I didn't push the button too many times. The wheel picked two face palettes. It picked the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit, which you can see fingerprints in it, but I've only swatched it. I've never used this. I believe I may have gotten this at Marshall's, so I am looking forward to using that because I've never done so. And it also picked the Dior. This is the Backstage Contour Palette, and I have used this. There's a blue dot on it, but I'm looking forward to using that again. For bronzer, oddly enough, it chose the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. This is in the shade Tan which has been discontinued. This sits on my vanity all the time, but I don't use it very often. So it's funny to me because I just said that in a video not too long ago that it was, you know, like my grandmother with her, her good towels. <laughs> she didn't let anybody use her good towels and I'm not using my good bronzer. So for it to pick that, it must have heard me. And it also picked the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. This is Ultra Cream Bronzer in Light. For blush, it chose this little Chanticleer. This is Smitten, and it's for the elephant. It has a little elephant. You can barely see it because I have used this. It's got a blue dot, and I do like this shade, so I'm happy about that. It also picked the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Earthy, which is one of my favorites. I love this shade. And it picked the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush in She's Passionate, and I have used this as well. I just told a big old lie. I have not. I thought I had used this, but you can see that there is nothing there, so... I'm excited to give that a try. For highlighter, it picked the Anastasia Moonchild Highlighter Palette, which is a beautiful palette. And this palette was the whole reason why I signed up for the Allure Beauty Box, because you got this palette for free if you signed up. And I wanted it, and I didn't want to spend the $40 for it. I should have just spent the $40 for it. But this is a beautiful palette, and I have not used that in a while. So I'm excited to use that. What other highlighter did it choose for me? It also chose this Sydney Grace Single Highlighter, and this is in the shade Prism. And I have not used this either. That is a really really pretty shade of highlighter it's just blinding and i have it in this little sydney grace palette when you get a bundle from sydney grace they send you these stickers i've got a bubble and i like to put them on my empty sydney grace palettes look at that beaming oh mama oh that is so pretty oh yeah, that's exciting. I'm excited to use that. And a Super Shock Cheek. This is ColourPop Pearlized, and it is in the shade Wisp. It's starting to crack. I don't know why it's cracking, but this is really pretty too, and I don't know that I've ever... I've swatched it, but I'm not sure that I've ever used that. For eye primer, it, it picked two... Sigma, and I have a lot of eye primer, so I'm shocked that it picked both Sigma products. It picked Earthen and Persuade, and those are the two shades. These are very nice eye primer sticks. I have used both of these, and I do like them. You can see where I have just made a mess with that one. I do like them both. And then... I don't know where I got this Hikari. This is a eyeshadow, Luxe Eye Crayon. And I mean, that shade just really would not show up on me 
So I thought that I would just throw it in here to see how that would work as an eyeshadow primer. So the wheel didn't pick that. I kind of threw that in. For concealer, it picked the Believe Beauty Your Covered Liquid Concealer in the shade Biscuit, which is the same name as my cat. I like how light that is. That's a very light that will be very brightening. And I have not used this, but Believe Beauty is supposed to be really good products. And then it also chose this Milani Conceal and Perfect O2 Melon, which I have used. And it doesn't have a dot on it. I need to get my dot game back on. So, and I did like this. It's, it's very hydrating. So, another highlighter, because I skipped right on by this, is the Mora dual brow highlighter pencil which is good for brows it's also good for your inner corner and i i used that when i first got it when i unboxed and did a video about that makeup but i haven't used it since i'm skipping around a little bit but i have the she glam sun sculpt liquid bronzer which is in the shade soft tan but that is not a bronzer color for me. That is a contour color. And I have not, I've had this for quite some time and I've never tried it. So I'm, I'm excited to contour with that. I know that there have been other people who have used it and really liked that shade. And then I have the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. And this is in the shade Float On. And that is in the same type of packaging. That's a very nice peachy summer color. What's next? Let's do mascaras. I mean, do you need more than one mascara? <laughs> I don't know why I have all of these mascaras. I have quite a few mascaras, but the wheel chose the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which I have used and I like it. I do not like the packaging because it will not stand up. It's just an enormous pain, but it is a nice mascara. It also chose the Complex Culture Executive Level Mascara 5-in-1 Lengthening. And it is in the shade Black, and I have used this. That as well is a very nice mascara. And then the wheel didn't choose these, but I have been playing with them for quite some time, and that is the Nobu Lash by Nobu Care Medics, and the City Beauty Beyond Mascara, and so far I am loving both of these. They're very, very nice, so I'm going to leave them on my vanity to continue to play with those. If you watched my collab video with Andy, I talked about these e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brighteners, and I have really been enjoying these, so I'm going to leave those in so that I can continue to play around with them. For a couple of single shadows, the wheel picked this NYX Glow Shots, Ultimate Glow Shots, and it is in the shade Plum... what? I can't read it. Plum Player. These have vitamin C in them, and this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. It, it says plum, but it is a very pink, very pretty pink shade. These are really nice. I like, like them. It has a little eye on it so that you don't forget and put it somewhere it doesn't belong. It also chose this Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow in the shade French Vanilla which I have never used, and it is a pretty silvery type shade. It's almost like a Super Shock, and it chose two ColourPop Super Shocks. I have Lady Bird, which is really pretty, and I've not used this either. I've only swatched it, so I'm really excited to be using up some of my products, especially ones that I've not tried. And this is Flower Child. And that as well I've only swatched. Lipsticks. Y'all, I don't know. 
I mean, the wheel picked some and then I added some. Because I don't use my lipsticks enough or wear them enough, but the wheel chose this Badass Beauties lipstick, and this is in the shade Camp Lejeune. And if you don't know anything about the military, Camp Lejeune is the name of a military base, and the owner of Badass Beauties was a Marine, so she has named quite a few of her products after military bases. And look at that. Ah. Mm. Mm. Yes, quite excited about that. It also picked this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and this is in the shade Sin Nudes, which mm, I don't know that this is going to be my color. I've had this for a while, but I mean, maybe, maybe it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. We'll give it a try. I don't know that I have ever worn that. I'm not sure. And then, along with the other She Glam products, I have not used this She Glam lipstick, and it is in the shade Lift Off. And that is a, I love my dark. And this dries down. Look at how pretty that is. Very pretty. And when it dries down, because I swatched it when I pulled it, it dry, dried down nice and soft. It was not uncomfortable. So I was in the middle of explaining about this shade here when my camera rudely cut off. I was saying that when that dried down, it dried down very soft, very comfortable. Of course, you know, it's on my hand, but... We'll see how it does on my lips. Then I went on to talk about the lip bar. This is in the shade Low Key. I picked this up the other day when Brandy and I were at Walmart. And this is what that looks like. It is very dark and vampy, but I love a dark lip. It might be a little bit too dark for me. I don't know, but we're going to try it. Moving on to lip liners, which I don't normally pull, but, you know... I need to be using up this stuff, and I tend to just... My problem is in the mornings when I'm getting ready for work, because I'm not a morning person, I hit the snooze button too much, and I'm rushing to try to get out the door, and I just don't use the products that I have. So I wanted to make sure that I started using these, and of course they're almost all the same color, but we have Laura Geller, Laura Geller Pout Perfection, in nude. We have Oma Beauty. This is a badass is opposite of a dumbass. It's badass. MF in the shade Angelou, which I really like. I've used that before. Color Pop. This is Beeper. Color Pop BFF2. And then I'm going to continue to use this L'Oreal. This is Nudes for Life. It's one of my favorites because it's almost gone. And now what I have left are my eyeshadow palettes. And I did not hit the button as many times on the eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to start off with the Sydney Grace. There's more stickers. You know... Because we're all just little girls at heart, aren't we? Just makeup and stickers and stuff. This is, and some of these are going to fall out. These three shades here are the July Bundle. And these shades here, no. These three shades here are the June Bundle. And these four shades up at the top are the July Bundle. And I have not used them these other shades that are in here are just some random single shades that I had in there. So I'm going to play with those because I have not yet done that. And then we have the wheel picked for me, the Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. I have not used this palette. I love that it comes with the Shade Saver. I normally throw these away, but it 
kind of tells you how to use them with the numbers, which I thought was pretty cool. But this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I am super excited to use this palette, even though the camera is not. It's like, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. No, I am not here to be picking up this palette. Come on, there we go. It is so pretty. So pretty. So I'm excited. Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. I'm excited to use that. That looks kind of fall-ish, but hey, it's August. We're on the down slope. The nights are getting longer and the days shorter, and it's going to start cooling off, hopefully. The other palette that it picked for me is the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette, and this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. As you can see, she's pretty messy because I have used this palette quite often. I have not used it in a while, but this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I absolutely love it. And then she, I need to name my wheel picker. We need to give her a name. She's a she. She picked the Blend Bunny Surge palette. Look at how pretty that is. I didn't realize how many pastel. They look pastel. They're not. These down here are neon, but the, the light makes it look pastel. But she picked this palette because she wants me to be a little bit colorful. So those are all of the eyeshadow palettes. It did pick one other palette for me, which I am not going to show because I don't show this brand on, on my channel. That's a little bit of mystery. Y'all can try to see if you can figure out what brand that is. It's a very controversial brand, and I don't agree with a lot of the things that that brand does, but the brand has special meaning to me because it helped my daughter and I bond over makeup, which was pretty impressive. So that's a whole long story in itself. Is that it? Am I done? Those are all the products for my August Shop My Stash. I'm excited to use quite a few of them. And actually looking around, I thought I had picked way too much stuff. But I don't think I picked as much as I normally do. So maybe this time it'll be manageable because sometimes at the end of the month I'm like, well, hell, I didn't use half that stuff. <laughs> I, need, I need to put my alarm way across the room so that I have to get up out of the bed and can't hit that snooze button. So thanks for hanging out with me while I showed you all of the products from my August Shop My Stash. Before you go, make sure that you show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are, and we are all beautiful at any age and any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.